Assalamu alaikum everybody welcome to let's learn maths uh, you are watching the 12th class uh, chapter uh, relation and function videos uh, this is presentation number four before watching this video please confirm to watch uh, video number one two three we are going to discuss a question about equivalent relation I have told you that relation will be equivalent when it will be reflexive symmetric and transitive so read this question uh, so that the relation on the set A what X belongs to Z and the boundary of X is 0 to 12 uh, given by R is equal to AB for absolute value of A minus B is a multiple of 4 is an equivalent relation. Also find all elements related to 2. Uh, if you uh, let us solve this question. See here given the boundary of A. It means the value of X will be in the interval of 0 to 12 so uh, we can write a is equal to 0 to 12 also given r a r b is nothing but uh, the absolute value of a minus b is a multiple of 4 so first of all to prove it reflexive we must take uh, a number uh, when you divide from itself then it will be 0 it means a r a is equal to 0 and 0 you know a multiple of 4 so a r a is a reflexive refle uh, relation uh, so uh, and the next you see if you take the subtraction of a minus b uh, say, subtraction of a minus b and put in a uh, absolute value then uh, it will be equal to uh, b minus a and put in a absolute value it means if you uh, subtract uh, from uh, 4 minus 8 it will be minus 4 and if you subtract from 8 minus 4 it will be 4 it all both uh, absolute value is divisible by 4 so this is right it means a r b and b r a both are equal so this is symmetric and uh, uh, third number uh, say a minus b and b minus c both belongs to a it means a b c all are belongs to a uh, now for this a minus b is a multiple of 4 so i have uh, thought that uh, a minus b is equal to 4k1 and b minus c is equal to 4k2 so i have thought uh, equal to 4k2 because b minus c also is a multiple of 4 if I add 4k1 plus 4k2 then what will be a, uh, a minus b plus b minus c you see here b b omits and so a minus c remains here 4 is equal to 4 into k1 plus k2 and uh, I thought instead of k1 k2 is equal to k3 is equal to 4k1 it means a minus c also is a multiple of 4 so this is uh, a, a r b b r c and c r a is true so hence it's transitive from 1 2 3 we can conclude that r is a equivalent relation you see here r is a equivalent relation so uh, if, if i uh, go to uh, second part of this question you are observing here you are observing here uh, they have asked you to tell the elements name of the elements which is uh, which all are related to 2 uh, here uh, so I have thought that elements is x which will be uh, related to 2 and th uh, their subtraction will be equal to 0 4 8 12 because they are divisible by 4 so the elements if x there must be the absolute value of x minus 2 will be uh, x minus 2 will be uh, uh, equal to 0, 4, 8, 12 because within the boundary of 0 to 12 these are the numbers which are divisible by 4 
and the ask question asked the elements name that is x which is related to 2 so x minus 2 must be is equal to 0 4 8 12 and so we have uh, written this equation and from this equation we have solved x is equal to 2 6 10 yeah, if, if you take 12 then it will be x is equal to 14 which is not in this set so uh, you can't take the uh, value x is equal to 14 so uh, so the result is 2 6 10 in this way you have to calculate the uh, uh, elements which are related to if the question was asked the uh, find the uh, elements which is related to 3 then you have to put here uh, x and here you have to put here 3 then uh, the uh, number of elements which are divisible by 4 you have to edit in here so in this way you have to uh, so, uh, calculate the uh, elements which are related in a set hope you understood this video if you like this video please do not forget to uh, donate my school my phone number is given here you can call me and also my SBI account number is given here. You can give your uh, donation here. Uh, till that, uh, have a goodbye. Khuda Hafiz.